is what you'll be riding in. The Popo Mark III. The Popo Mark? It's the ultimate underwater vehicle. Under... Underwater? Oh my goodness, who could have seen this coming? Oh, um, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm allergic to being obvious. I'm thrilled you volunteered to take it for a manned test ride. There seems to have been some miscommunication. Oh, that Jay. We came here in order to enter the ruins of Frozen Light. Ah, so that's why you're boarding the Popo Mark III. The entrance to the ruins is in the underground lake. Under... underground lake? Hey, quit stealing my lines! So in other words, we can't get to the ruins of Frozen Light unless we take the Popo Mark III? I almost thought he was nervous. So this is what he meant by risking our lives. If this fails, there won't be any second chances. This ain't gonna break down while we're in it, right? It's just as durable as the Mark II. It'll be like riding a giant clam. I always wanted to ride a giant clam. The Mark II sank. What are the odds of success? At least 10%. Sounds good to me. Let's get in. Settle you first. Too low. That's low. Oh, hell no. Really? Popo, is there anything we can do to raise our chances of success? Well, maybe we can sacrifice you to Talos. Well, the problem is low shock absorption when bumping into walls and objects. Now, if we were to use the horn of a mighty one to construct a bumper, then perhaps this is a graveyard for mighty ones. You must get the lower horn. The Orosaurin referred to grand gates as mighty ones. This is where Mighty Ones come when they feel they are nearing death. I had no idea Grand Gates possessed such a trait. Fascinating. I mean, it's not like any other kind of animal migrates. Do you think you could go and see if there's a decent-sized horn among the bones of the Mighty Ones? I know a horn. The horns of a Mighty One should be easy to recognize. They resemble a crown. Well, they are mighty. Understood. We'll take you up on your offer. Teach, you getting a little excited? If you encounter any living Mighty Ones, you mustn't agitate them. Please pay proper respect to these great souls as they face their deaths. Did you hear that, Norma? Yeah, Norma. Don't look at me. Why don't you fuck off, Norma? And you two, cut it out with the nodding. So? Guess where I'm hiding? Right there. I'm a free bitch, baby. What's the matter? Why are you all so quiet? Get out, get out, come on, get out, come Damn straight. Our special never wait. So is the pussies. Man, I mean you smell bad. Oh, you poor thing. Just remember, the life you still breath makes nothing. It's your illness. Uh, yeah, you're torn. Hell yeah. Never have to go back to the fucking place. Well, off to go defile the grave of many mighty animals. I wonder where I'll find one. There are bones all over the place, but I don't see any that look like crowns. Cause there's uh no skulls, right? Where'd all the skulls go? Hey Spot, do something. You're a dog, can't you sniff one out? Geet ain't no dog!
So all I had to do was walk a few inches forward, and it found me. I mean, come on, guys. You didn't find shit. I've been sitting over here for like an hour waiting on you dumbasses. Check it out. This is what Poppy meant when he said they look like a crown, right? It's Poe. Norma. Norma, I am showing concern and shock. Behind you. Oh dear. Oh, all the serious looks. Come on, guys. I'm not gonna fall for that old one. Why? Did something warm and stinky just walked in. Why? I brush my teeth all the time, Wayne. Um, is that a grand gate? Why? Yes, I am. Yes, come here quickly. This, this isn't my fault, right? Hmm, I'm saying it's your fault. <laughs> It doesn't seem really annoying with you. What are you doing, you idiot? I am Moses Sandor, and I come seeking sacred heirs. Sandor! If you judge me worthy, I can get sacred heirs, right? Red! Then it's time to show you what I can do. Take that! Ow! Why would you do that? What are you doing? Who ain't hurt me? Bring it on! What are you talking about? Well, I'm never gonna forget of you! No way! The mighty game back for cry. Well, I'm gonna hoo-ha eat this. Hoo-ha eat this. Chloe wants. Curse your own ill fate. Ow. Well, piss. And so, since like you're right up in the thing's ass, maybe you want to eat something? Never mind, I'll eat it. Mmm, Malane's gel. What the hell does Malane taste like? Alright, Sinnel. You, you can have Malane's gel. No problem. Oh wait, Will just went ahead and healed you? You pig! That was my Malane's gel. Damn it. Hmm. Here, use this. Three guys behind me. First aid. Okay. Let's see. I saw something very interesting in my uh inventory. First aid. Oh wait, did it fill it up? What how gay? Ow. I thought I didn't have such a hard time with this before. Demon fist. Here, use this. First aid. Ow. Here, use this. First aid. Ow. I know this must be unparalleled when you were starting to you guys. And you must be like, you know, you see things that. But all I can think about is... <sighs> Like, you know how cutscenes cut, and then they do not resume until, like, after you do shit? Does that mean Bachlov and Shirley are just kind of sitting there, staring at each other, and not really like, doing anything? I mean, like, that isn't offered for anybody? Dude, how long does he expect to, you know, just take to read a little booklet? Or tablet, whatever. And I didn't see any blood on that tablet, just saying. Yeah, I'm bored to find the thing. I mean, my friends are over here fighting this dying majestic creature, and what do I do? I sit in the background and 
wish I wasn't here. Contemplate, you know, when the off walks back. At least maybe the people over there will appreciate me. I'm gonna get raped the hell on her. Dude, set off. Cheers. I will. How about you get the hell back? Well, I'm dead. Speaking of dead, we'll have more to kill than anyone else. Norma, you can go on. Damn it, Will! Take care of yourself, you moron! Stone Blast! Oh my gosh! So bored! Oh my god. Well, you get one miracle kill. Hey, here, use this. If first aid. What are you looking at? Hey, Will, you know that first aid you just used on me? Probably would have been a lot more helpful if I were alive at that time. Just saying. Not even trying to hate man. You know I don't do that. But you're the worst character ever. There we go, we're done, finally. is not the word. Hold on, Chloe. Let's hear his explanation first. Uh, okay. Y'all know I was looking for sacred heirs, right? According to the stories my people tell... We heard all that already. And... Well, I figured if I whooped a grand gate in a test of strength, it'd find me worthy. You figured? Come on, I'm begging you, give me sacred airs. Without it, I'm... How come y'all are still so strong after that fight? Uh, no! Cut that out! Hey, don't hit me there! Ah! What's going on here? Oh my, it's a mighty one! Mighty One, we humbly apologize for disturbing your rest. Well, okay. Anyway, enough about that. Can we have your horn? Whoa, mood swing again. Can he really ask it like that? For that matter, can they even understand each other? Oh, I'm sure they speak otter or something. Looks like they're chatting just fine. 
shall now convey the words of the Mighty One. He says, No problem, brah. It's like Mondo Heavy always get in the way. So yeah, just yank it. It'll always grow back pronto anyway. The Mighty One has spoken. You have got to be making that up. I wouldn't dream of it. Well, I guess I was wrong. The Mighty Ones do not sound like Billy. We've got a fine horn now, so let's return to the workshop. Well, that little adventure took way too fucking long. So, I'll see you beauties next time.